Transformers 1. I, I didn't want to see this movie. I figured it was a kid's movie. I got the gist. They said that they were doing an origin story and I figured, are they going to change the origin of the Transformers? I mean, I grew up with those, with those toys, you know? And I'm like, they're going to, they're going to tell the, tell the origin story. It's not like Batman or Spider-Man where everybody knows the Wayne family or Uncle Ben dies and the superhero finds purpose. This was, this was a, a story that not everybody knew, but, you know, they leave Cybertron, they come to Earth, there's a war on Cybertron, you know, they, they, they come to Earth, they're fighting the Decepticons, and slowly, because Optimus calls out, you know, hey, if you're out there, come to Earth, and people start coming, the, the, the Constructicons, you know, the, the, all the other ones, the Animaniacs, I think, might have been a part of it, not really, but I just, I just, in my mind, you know, so, Scarlett Johansson, uh, Keegan Michael King, Key, uh, Brian Tyre Henry, and Chris Helmsworth with, with, with Lawrence Fishburne and a bunch of other people. There was people in there that I didn't even know, you know, I didn't know. I, I heard the voices and I was like, wait a minute, is that? There's, a, there's an all-star cast to do this movie. They were serious about this movie. They put some some real chicka chicka change in the cast and it is a kids movie but it's not it you can be i mean there's not a lot of you know cussing and violence in adult situations but it's a cartoon that an adult can watch and understand at an adult level and a child can watch and understand at a child's level they're they're transformers there's autobots and you know Decepticons before there were Autobots and Decepticons and it tells the story the origin story and kids are going to be like oh robots are fighting and adults will understand the subtle undertones of two people who meet become friends become best friends and then the worst of enemies you know, just because they're of their ideologies. I mean, it's not like that's happening today where you've got two groups of people, maybe they're all friends, but because of certain things, their ideologies are, are slightly different and they're no longer friends. It's the world we live in. They do that basically in this movie. These two guys meet. Uh, uh, D16 and uh, Orion Pax, who become uh, Orion Pax, is named Optimus Prime because he's the newest Prime, and D16 is named Megatron because Super Galactic Megatron or whatever his name was was his idol growing up, so he just took a part of his name. It was just like Megatron. Call me that. And I'm not saying anything that you don't know. I mean, you saw the previews. You know who the two guys are. You know, when they're fist bumping and stuff, that it's Megatron and Optimus. And this shows how they went from meeting each other to becoming friends to becoming enemies. And when you watch it, you, you kind of understand it. I mean, I understood Megatron. You know, you grow up and live your entire life with somebody's foot on your neck and then you have the power to get that foot off your neck and you don't want it there again, you know, it's understandable. He, he was a little angry about how he was treated and that progressed into rage and it never really changed. And these two, because of their different ideologies, could no longer be buddies, could no longer be friends. And through certain circumstance, they became rivals and, and bitter enemies. And they threatened each other. You remember that time you came to my mom's house for dinner? No more! They, they, they don't like each other now. And it plays out well. I did not think it was going to be as, as good 
as it was. I didn't think it was going to be a story that was told that well. And when they said they were doing an origin story, I was like, ah, I don't want to see that. They're going to mess it up. They, they took a lot of artistic license. They took a lot of things that were not in the original story, or at least were not told as a part of the original story. And they wove it in to the original story, and it made sense. It made sense. It was understandable. I dug it. I'm watching it, and in the beginning, I'm like, this does not make sense. But then, all of a sudden, A connected to B, B connected to C, and C connected to D, and I'm like, oh, wait, that does make sense. Slightly different, and not completely, just a slightly different telling of the story, and it was good. The voices, the voice actors were incredible. You could, you could feel it when somebody betrays somebody. You could feel it when somebody gets vindicated. You could feel it. Because the, the Optimus and, and Megatron start off as nobodies. Both of them together, collectively. Put them together, they'd be a great big bunch of nobody. They were nobodies. And certain circumstances led them to be somebodies. And both of them went from having absolutely no power to both of them having greater power than anybody else. And it shows where the Decepticons came from, you know. And it was it, it was kind of uh, reminiscent of of the story of um, the fallen angels. They were all on an equal level, and then somebody said more, and they were like, nah. You can't, it's, it's all equal. And they were like, you've, you've denied me more. And they were like, nope, nope, nope. And then there were other people that were like, yeah, 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 we, we should have more. I mean, you know, look what, look what you've done to us for all this time. Look how you've treated us. We want more. And it wasn't, it wasn't like they were saying all. Oh, you know, everybody was here, but some of them were there. The ones that were here were like, we want more, which would bring them here. And they were pretty much denied. So they were like, okay, all right, okay. Now we don't want more. Now we want all. And that's kind of what happened. You had, uh, it's a planet of living robots. Of course, you know that. And some of the robots were persecuting and um, using the other robots as labor and forcing them to, to, to dig mines and look for stuff in dangerous situations. And they just thought it was okay, but they didn't know that at birth, and I don't know how they're born, it seems like they'd be built, but there was, it said at birth they were taken, the, the spark was taken from them. The spark could be translated into the soul. It was taken from them. And they couldn't transform, they didn't have the laser powers, they couldn't shoot, they couldn't fly, none of that stuff. And they were workers. They were the underclass. Then they find out that the spark was taken and they could get it back. And when they got that spark, oh, some of them were straight up tripping. Some of them was like, no, 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 it's okay, you know, we're okay now, it's, it's all right, let's skip, skip that thousand years that we were being beat down because, you know, they're not human. They don't live for 50, 60, 70, 80 years and they're done. They live for thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of years. Who knows? But for a thousand years, they were getting beaten down. They were just like, okay, it's all right. We got our spark back. Everything's cool. But a lot of them was like, nah. Nah, that's not right. You, that's not right. You can't just do that to us for all of that time and think it's cool. We want more. To, and by more, they really just meant equal. They were denied, so they was like, okay, now we want all, and we're going to take it. So there's a big fight. And I, I understood Optimus and, and why he was doing it. We should all just chill out, think about what's happening. We all got our spark. Let's, let's figure out what's going on. We've defeated the people who took the spark from all of us, man. From all of us, we're, we're, we are now equal. 
But some of them was like, nah, I think, I think you're a little bit more equal than we are. I understood um, Megatron. Megatron straight up was tripping. He had, he felt it more than Optimus did. Optimus was like, Optimus was optim, optimistic. Maybe that's where the name comes from. He was optimistic. He was like, it's cool, man. It's cool. My glass is half full. But Megatron looked and he was like, nah, my glass is half empty. They're looking at the same thing, but they're seeing it completely different. So, and they were both extremely passionate about what they thought. So they went from being really close friends that would die for each other to enemies that wanted the other to die. So it was a good movie. And, and if you go see it, there is a, a Easter egg at the end. Go see the Easter egg. It's important. Uh, it, it's a long ways. It's like, it, it's probably almost five minutes away from what you would think is the last scene. The credits are rolling and everything. But when I go to the movies, if the, if the house lights don't come on, I stay in the seat because there's probably something else coming. Marvel, well, I want to say Marvel, but it really started with um, Ferris Bueller. You know, Ferris Bueller came out out of the bathroom in his robe and he's like, are you still here? Go. Go away. Go. It started with him, really, but Marvel perfected it. When you think everything's done, Nick Fury is standing in your living room looking through your blinds and tells you about the Avengers initiative, you know, and then all of a sudden everybody's doing it. And it's done in this movie. There's, there's a lot of Marvel people in this movie. A lot of superhero characters are in this movie. So, um, at the end of it, it's like five minutes away from what you would think is the last, the last segment, there's another piece. It's, it's small, it's only like maybe a minute, maybe less than a minute, but it's important. There's going to be another one. If this one makes a buck, which I am sure it will, because it's going to get some more money from me tomorrow, probably, there's going to be another movie. It's going to be another movie. I, after seeing Transformers 1, would really like to see Transformers 2, but this one was good and I would give this 9 bags of popcorn. Now, I almost said 8. 9 bags of popcorn. I said, I was thinking 8, but I said 9 because the cast is incredible. Lawrence Fishburne is in this? I didn't even know. I don't remember them saying it. Chris Helmsworth is in it. Scarlett Johansson. The Avengers are in this movie, man. It was good. Nine bags of popcorn. Because that's what I think about that. But more importantly, what do you think about that? Now that you had a chance to see the video, let's talk about it some more in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn ass boy.